Hello everyone, Berserkhead here, and welcome to my series Let's Kill Caesar and Gold once again. It's been more than a month since the last episode, but hey, I've been busy lately, as I mentioned in my last video, and now everything is gonna be back on schedule, so I'm gonna try to make these more often, uh, because once a month is definitely not enough for a Let's Play series. And um, the way this is gonna work, so as last time I played a little bit without recording, uh, just to like recruit some troops so they're might they're getting attacked. I don't think that succeeded, but we're gonna we're gonna see Oh, they're actually okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can win that But anyways, I played a little bit without recording so that I can uh, Since I lost my army so that I can like recruit new ones and basically I'm trying to retake the settlement defeat these guys here They've been just menacing my troops for a long time and I lost in the last episode I lost a pretty key battle a pretty important battle so I had to basically just make two new armies and just march against them and now they finally are able to get an ambush again but I think their army is actually smaller from what I could see last time um, I was able I was actually able to click on their armies you probably saw them so if this is all they have I'm pretty confident I can win that uh, but I don't know maybe they had some troops hidden so we shall see how that works let's see so maybe many people are gonna hate me about this but I usually pause battles like that oops because yeah I actually talked about that in the last video so never mind I just like to react I mean th there is like an ambush my morale is already going like lower than it should be so why not you know why not react to it while I still can so basically what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to shoot these guys as much as possible my troops are kind of shit this oh they actually wounded my general so that's pretty bad or they just flat out killed him hope that's not the case couldn't see really cuz like that happened between the turns after I end my turn so that's that's all I can do this is my only army so I hope I can win that I hope I can and if they're actually attacking me with just these guys I'm pretty confident that I can win although maybe some other troops are gonna appear at some point from nowhere now I can just flat out charge them and, and win that I can even outplan them a little bit and go and chase these guys uh, let's flank charge these guys good some some javelins thrown that's that's great that's what I want to see and uh, let me actually move these troops and try to throw some spear spears from behind these guys there's my general gonna try to chase all these guys as much as possible I don't care if I lose my general in this battle I'll just try to not lose him too early on uh, and did they actually attack me like that because I think that was a pretty stupid idea now let's kill these guys let's throw some javelins from behind and uh, hopefully win that their general is pretty tough these are spear nobles not a bad unit but still they're outnumbered so much that I don't see them winning this one I routed this unit now I can route this one and yeah the battle should end pretty soon Come on, throw javelins faster. Let's use quick reload. And I didn't lose that many troops, actually. And I don't want to lose too many troops, because... Uh, let's just charge. Let's just outfunk these guys as much as possible. And circle them. And I uh, think we're going to be winning that pretty soon. Yeah, just 45 men. There we go. And yeah, I don't want to lose too many troops because I just want to get the settlement back because they took it from me. There we go, that should be the end of the battle. The enemy general is dead, so I'm happy with that. Some troops got away, not too many of them. Oh, these guys haven't broken yet. It's pretty impressive. So they're just slingers, but there they go. That said, I'm not going to bother chasing them. These are not really any threat to me. Plus... Well, I, I can actually attempt that. Yeah, let's fast forward and chase as many of them as possible. It'll not be bad. I mean, they're gonna have some troops left. I'm not gonna completely destroy this army. Uh, but it was pretty small to begin with. So I don't consider it too much, too much of a threat. And yeah, I lost like, I don't know, 200 troops, if that. Okay. No, what? The battle's not over? Do they have some troops left? Hmm. 
Well, the only thing that I can do at this point is just deploy on this hill. And see if any troops are gonna appear from anywhere. And they are gonna be because the battle's not over. Because as you could see just a few seconds ago, it gives me concede defeat instead of quick battle. So, okay. Well, we're just gonna fast forward that. And why are they not charging me? Maybe they're in... Yeah, there's pretty heavy fog. So, chances are they cannot see my troops. There you go. And I cannot see theirs as well. Because, you know, fog. That's how it works. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait and, and see. But I'm pretty happy with what I did. And even if they have, like, one, one more army of the same size. Uh, uh, I'm pretty confident I can win that. And still, you can see my morale is pretty low because that was an ambush battle, but I did pretty well. I uh, used my numbers advantage is, you know, in the most efficient way possible. But anyways, I'm not going to bore you to death, so I'm just going to cut the video to where something interesting actually happens. Okay, so the AI kind of bugged out again, uh, as it happened many times in this campaign. I don't know if it's just the Caesar and Gold campaign or this happens in general. I personally never experienced stuff, I, stuff like that when I play by myself, but uh, maybe it's just the Caesar and Gold campaign's buggy. Look at that, these guys were just walking. I was waiting for them for the longest time and they then just decided to do that. And, uh, yeah, that's why I set time limit on my battles. Because I could have charged these guys, but I was like, hey, this is an ambush battle. I don't see a reason to do it. I'm gonna win it either way. Um, so, yeah, at least I destroyed one of their armies. You can see not a lot of troops left. I don't... Maybe that army is just gonna be dead. And they have two more, but I have one more army here that I'm pretty sure is full stacked or at least close to it. So we can just chase these guys off next turn. Oh, they're gonna move away still still uh, I am pretty sure I'm gonna be able to win that I'm pretty sure I have a good advantage so maybe this time I'm not gonna fail like like last time hopefully that's gonna happen and uh, as you can see here I have a pretty solid income each each turn there's oh so I had a mission to do that and I defeated these guys that's great and uh, I guess they wounded my general as I said uh, previously so let's see which one I'm gonna get cultural conversion wouldn't be bad since I am uh, trying to convert the settlement like get it and then obviously I should convert it so I don't see why not and I have a new mission oh I gotta assassinate this guy and let's see if that's gonna work I do not think it is nope not even worth it yeah, this guy's pretty experienced. Five stars, not too bad. Uh, but basically what I'm gonna do here is... Okay, this army is not actually fully stacked. I didn't know that, but I guess I have one more. Yeah, I'm recruiting some troops here. That's a rebel army. Really? I didn't see that before. Never mind, I am recruiting troops all over the place. Th this is what I'm trying to do. But now I'll be able to push my advantage and kill these guys. I could have recruited more troops before started before starting recording, but uh, as you can see here, I st still have an advantage over these guys, and I can pretty easily win against them. So let's chase this army. I'm pretty sure they're not reinforced by anyone, and I have a huge amount of spears, uh, so I should be able to win that without too much of a problem. Yeah, just sort of resolve that. No point of playing that. I'm gonna save up some troops. And uh, my only concern is this settlement garrison. That's the only thing that I'm concerned about. These guys have just one unit. Yeah, not a huge problem. Not a huge problem, but let's see their garrison. It's not full, but they still have a pretty solid garrison. Nevertheless, I'm gonna attack. I, I, I'm risking too much, and I know that I'm doing it. Maybe I can hire some mercenaries to help me out. Uh, yeah, these are pretty cheap, actually. These are pretty good mercenaries. Let's hire some of them. Okay, these are kind of expensive, but as you can see here, I, I have so much money that... And really, I have upgraded my, uh, my settlement to the point where 
I can I cannot no longer like upgrade these things. So the best way I can spend my money right now is on troops since I have so many enemies. Just look at that. Not looking great. I have the Golic Confederation. Well, they have just one settlement. So I'm probably going to be able to deal with that eventually. But let's uh, let's try to recruit troops in all provinces. Here I can actually get some decent troops. Some wolf warriors. These are not that bad. But you should have some troops to reinforce them. Because if they get charged, they're not that good. They're not great. Let's upgrade this general and end the turn. And what I can get here is zeal. I think that's going to be the, the most appropriate one that I can get. And maybe I should disband some of the mercenaries after this turn, or at least like the archers because they were pretty expensive. But I'm pretty sure I need them because these guys can still pull out some troops out of nowhere and, uh, and attack me. So uh, that's the reasoning behind why I hire so many mercenaries. And right now I'm just going to go for the settlement. Maybe I'm just going to fight the battle. Maybe I'm going to wait for them to come out. Oh, my public order. Yeah. Well, I have a dignitary working on it, but still the Golic population is pretty high. Not converting this anytime soon, and we're going to have a rebellion. So, the best thing I can do is just take the settlement back as soon as possible. And I have disease in this army, which is not great by, by any means. Uh, but, yeah, let's uh, let's attack that settlement. That's uh, That's the only thing I can do. Oh, they intercepted orders. How great. Can I use that? Oh yeah, I actually can. Never mind. Okay, good. I don't know how that works, but... Well, I think it's kind of risky to... To play that, because siege battles are kind of buggy. Plus, I have a pretty good advantage over them. And I gotta do... I gotta come back to the other province as quickly as possible. No, it's actually the same province, but the other settlement. And just go there as quickly as possible. Because there is going to be a rebellion pretty soon. Plus I got to replenish my troops. Mission aborted? Is this guy dead or something? Oh no, it's just I, I destroyed their faction. Good, and public order is back to, to zero. It's still going down. Uh, as you can see, pretty rapidly. But uh, it's just financial instability. Not financial, but provincial. Instability. That's what it, this is called, and it's gonna disappear pretty soon. And this settlement actually provides me with quite a good amount of money each turn. I am happy about that, which because you know it's gonna allow me to uh, recruit more troops more easily. Let's upgrade this general. Let's just go for the zeal. Where the sway be? We gotta have zeal. And right now I'm actually at war with just one faction. Is that correct? It is correct. Yeah. And I have this faction as my allies. They're not very good ally, but still, I can appreciate it. Because at least I know they're not stupid enough to attack me. And I gotta do something about this rebellion, but I'm working on it. I'm recruiting troops. The settlement has no walls. Uh, what am I actually researching? This? Farm? Yeah, I don't have that much money each turn. Uh, I mean, food, not money each turn. But I should probably go for boiling oil. It's actually going to help me a lot. Absolutely a lot. But I'm not familiar with the with the technology trees in this DLC. They're different. Uh, Presage battering ram. Yeah, boiling oil. So this is the one I should get next. Alright, alright, I can do that. Let's see how many troops these guys have. That's a pretty solid army. So let's just keep recruiting... Now, as you can see, this is like gigantic. This is way more than I need. So, just gonna keep recruiting. No doubt about that. And I'm gonna attack them as soon as possible because I wanna get my old territory back. That's all I need to do at this point. These guys are gonna replenish. Uh, let's see, what do I have in this army? Mostly spearmen. So, what's gonna be the most... Well, let's actually get these, this thing. Like these, uh, these perks. Because these guys have some low morale that I want to work on a little bit. Oh, never mind. This settlement, there is still going to be a re rebellion there. Well, I'm going to hire some mercenaries and try to extinguish it as soon as possible. And I think there is one building that I can build over here, which is this one. Which one's better? The slave market 
or this thing like this um kind of hard to tell but let's get this i don't really need much more of an income this one provides me with a lot and as you can see here that's once again more than what i need so okay maybe maybe i'm gonna recover from that and these guys actually want a non-aggression pack which is great let's accept that and what are these rebel armies doing or are these rebel armies for just faction invading me uh so yeah these were the rebel armies yep where did they go i cannot seem to find them at this point they just disappeared somewhere well i hope they're not gonna come back because what they can do is they can just hide somewhere recruit a lot more troops and then come back and attack me which is not gonna be pleasant at all but at least i have i have uh walls in the settlement which you know which is a pretty solid defense plus the ai just bugs out in these kinds of siege battles although in patch 12 i've noticed some uh some advancement when it comes to this they're kind of smarter but they still do some stupid shit it's not polished by any means but it's better than the way it functioned before so yeah it, just let me keep doing the same thing gonna get some longbow hunters these are just a great unit and then uh here man i hope these guys are not gonna attack i sure hope that uh let's get some more spearmen uh and maybe then i'm gonna get some more wolf warriors and here can i can i actually recruit any troops in this province i can i they're only like really bad ones but hey i am gonna recruit everything that i can oh this, these are actually two different provinces i thought they were one never mind so let's plan out our diplomacy a little bit so no one likes me i cannot really do anything about that they're just this is the only germanic trap that there is right now and we're allied with them so nothing i can really do about that what about the romans do they like me no they they despise me uh so basically i should deal with the Gallic confederation that's going to be my next goal and as far as i can see they have oh they have 20 troops never mind so they're recruiting because they had 17 last time can i actually do that well i know the a is not going to be helpful but why not try it you know so yeah that's going to be what's going to be happening for the next few turns maybe first i'm gonna go for this rebellion because i really do not like it oh they're attacking me and i have a pretty solid garrison however i am pretty sure i cannot win that on the battlefield so i'm just gonna auto resolve it i'm auto resolving too much but sometimes you gotta do that and yep we did kill pretty good amount of units but we lost a good amount of units as well let's uh is this army dead it should be yeah there we go great i lost a lot of troops my garrison didn't didn't suffer much but my actual army did so let's see how many turns i'll need uh to replenish these guys quite a few i imagine six oh well that's bad that is pretty bad eight for this unit Okay, didn't see this coming, but I guess I'm just gonna keep recruiting some troops. Let's get a strategist general, because why the hell not? There is my dignitary as well. Getting some experience, which is the best one that I can get. Uh, either this one or this one. Well, yeah, this is the this is the one that I that I should get, I believe. In this situation. Here, my troops are actually replenishing pretty damn slow. I do not like that. Is it because of the growth? No, the growth is actually not that bad. It is bad, but it's not terrible. It's not that terrible. And uh, let me actually send my spy to the Golic Confederation and be able to see what's happening. And try to counteract what they do. What they're doing. These guys, Bloodsworn. Okay, they're... Are these actually good? No, they're not they're terrible they have more melee attack than the club levy but 
they oh they have more morale never mind they're actually not that bad but they're still like a club unit so i would just prefer to get more spear brothers because at least i know they're a good unit and now my turn like income is going down but it's fine it's fine because once again i've upgraded everything that i can because for the longest time i had like so much money that i could do whatever i want maybe i should research something that allows me to recruit more buildings is this the construction thing oh they have different names so that's kind of confusing but yeah this is the one that allows me to upgrade my settlements and i can get it for just one turn so i'm gonna wait for this one to finish and then i'm gonna go and get this one because it's kind of kind of useful and uh, I should just get some Miami armies together and try to attack the Golic Confederation before they can recruit more troops. But I don't think I am able to do that at this point. Mission successful. What was that mission? I don't know, but 5,000 talents. Thank you very much for that. And new objective. Completely control the following two provinces. Helvetia and Arduena Silva. Let's see, Helvetia should be... Where's Helvetia? There it is. It's like South Germany. And the other one is this one. Okay, that's going to be difficult. Yeah, that is going to be difficult. This one is going to be easier, but... Yeah, first of all, got to take care of these guys. No doubt about that. And they keep recruiting troops. Oh, no, they, they, they actually recruited this general and they stopped far as I can see let's send my spy and see if I can get any intel on what units they have yeah so this is uh, this is pure nobles good these are all sworn which is not great but they have levy spearmen for the most part a lot of Celtic skirmishers I don't have cavalry to counteract that though like I cannot recruit cavalry at this point what do I got to research for cavalry oops not that uh cavalry tavern no it's not this one it's probably s some of these i don't know i it's just confusing it's not the the system that i'm used to it's kind of weird never mind not important not important wow oh yeah five thousand in florence i forgot about that so uh yeah just gonna keep recruiting troops at this point some more spear levy and uh, this army is pretty solid but these guys still need some time but i probably gotta start sending some troops uh close to this settlement maybe i should just try to help them out in this province what if i yeah it's gonna start going down my public order i just hate that like the the germanic faction and the factions and the celtic factions have such a great cultural aversion that it's so hard to convert the settlements and the public order is going to be so low before you can do that and now at this point i think i can have only one oh no i can have one more well i'm definitely gonna do that but where should i put her like here I think that would be a good decision. Like, all of my settlements are in different provinces, and that is really bad. That gives me public order. Yep, I think the first one's better. There we go. Uh, so, money well spent. That's gonna help me a lot. I Oh, I can recruit one more. Really? Okay, that's really nice. I'm totally gonna do that. Let's recruit one more. These are not... Well, these perks are not great. But let's get this because it gives me growth. Which is always good. Can I actually recruit more? I'm not gonna do it. I... Oh yeah, I can. No, I cannot. I can get another spy though. Which... I don't need at this point actually. No, no. Not gonna do that. Let's save my money. Uh, and yeah, that's all. Maybe I should... No, I'm not going to recruit troops here. But I'm going to recruit some here. 
and I have pretty solid armies. The only problem is that I cannot leave my settlements at this point. Ally attack the Nervii. Well, I'm at war with the Golic Confederation. The Nervii are pretty close, so I have nothing to lose, I guess. If I join this war. Plus, if they invade my ally, I'm screwed as well, so I might as well help them. I don't know. Let's now actually, let's get all my dignitaries and uh, try to get them some experience and level them up. Uh, these are not remotely useful, so I'm just gonna get a random one. Let's get her working and her as well. That's fine. These guys, can I do s something? Oh, they're recruiting more troops. No, that is never a good thing. Well, once again, the only problem is I cannot really leave my settlements, aside from this one, but Marmies there is not really great. Although... Huh. I can attack it. But I gotta see what their garrison is, and I gotta see what these troops actually are. They have Celtic warriors, Pure Brothers, Celtic tribesmen. They're not full, though. They're kinda... Uh... Oh didn't notice that okay they're um, kind of depleted but yeah at this point I'm just gonna take my units out of there and if I can attack that because here they have just 10 units which means that I have six units advantage it's not really great when you're countering it like that because you don't exactly know what units they have but still it's a six unit advantage chances are my units are gonna be better and yeah if I can take the settlement that would be great and the settlement is actually Germanic, so I'm not gonna bother converting it. It was actually my ally settlement, wasn't it? Maybe it was. Yeah, since it's Germanic, I had two allies, uh, allies at the beginning, so... Oh, I can upgrade something. Yeah, public order down, not a great idea, so let's not do that. Germanic culture is growing there, which is great. Here as well. Yep. There's some Latin culture, Latin presence. If I leave the settlement right now, will it be all right? Yeah, for the most part, it will. So let's start marching uh, and try to get one more army there. What if I leave the settlement? Pretty much same deal, but the culture is going to be growing. So yeah, it's not going to be too bad. So I'm going to unite these two armies at some point and try to attack these guys like the Golic Confederation but still I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take the settlement just look at how many units they have full stacked army here four units here and what's concerning me the most are these old sworn and uh, hero nobles and no not hero noble spear nobles uh, and yeah they have two units of old sworn that can just wreck through my guys but let's, see, uh, let's end the turn and see what's going to happen because it's getting pretty interesting. These guys actually left the settlement, which means that this turn, whatever happens, I'm just attacking it. Because it's just, that's the easiest thing I can do. Oops, sorry about that. Knocked my mic a little bit. And now let me actually recruit that. Well, where was it? Here. So that I can expand my settlements a little bit. Does it cost money? Oh. Oh. I didn't know that that's quite a lot of money so basically how this works is everything is unlocked for just one turn but you gotta pay money for it okay kinda kinda like that kinda like that but I don't know we'll see so can I take the settlement this turn I believe I cannot no that is really stupid because they just left it so it would have been an easy target for me uh, these are my allied troops. They're probably gonna take the settlement, but at least what I what's good is that I know they cannot attack me next turn. Uh, when I end my turn because they're in uh, double like force march. Let's put my armies here. Maybe I'm gonna fortify it for for a couple of turns, and. Uh, I can actually take this settlement, maybe. Well, once I deal with these guys, the Nervia are actually going to be pretty easy. I didn't expect that, but they don't have that many troops. If these are if these are all the troops that they have, 
It's gonna be great. It's gonna be pretty easy, and their settlements are not uh, that developed. Yeah, my spies there kind of kind of late. Oh, they uh, have more armies. Never mind. Okay, how the hell did they do that? They were in force march. Now I don't I don't get that. How did that happen? There are just so many moments like this in this campaign. I'm just what the hell is happening? How did they do that? How they just how did they just move these armies out of nowhere? Yeah, now you attack me. Yeah, of course. Uh okay, at least I was able to retreat. It ends now. The storm is coming. And yeah. Okay. I have no idea what just happened. No freaking idea whatsoever. That wasn't supposed to happen. These guys were in force march. Oh, they actually took the settlement. Never mind. I am double screwed right now. I totally am. Because look at that. There are just armies everywhere. <sighs> this campaign. This campaign.